Welcome back to the True Ball Pythons YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about expanding the collection and needing more room. Uh, also, we're going to go over a pickup we got last week. Uh, first thing first is, is the room that we're currently in holds about 130 animals and we have about 130 animals in it. Absolutely no space for any additional animals. The quarantine rack has one slot available which you know that really doesn't help seeing how i have three animals on the way have to figure that out so the math isn't adding up and we're, we're just out of room out of space and the collection is ever expanding so we're looking to just just to move downstairs and to a slightly larger room that'll only be that'll house just our, our ball python collection and really looking forward to it so me and my brother are converting the room now and hopefully you guys will see it in a, in a few weeks. But, uh, you know, we're always up against the, the just ne not having enough space. And so we, we purchased a new rack. And then on top of that, we just built a hundred um, hatchling tub rack with the FB5 tubs. And, you know, we have no place to put it up here, to be completely honest with you. So we're going to be expanding the collection that way. And uh, we'll still, you know, do purchases and figure out where they're going to go at a later time. So let's go ahead and get into this week's videos. We're going to show off a pickup we got. Uh, this is our first time picking up an animal from this particular breeder, and we were very pleased with it. So let's go ahead and get into that, guys. Okay, guys, here's our pickup from last week. We did just feed him yesterday, so he has a nice big rat in his belly. Uh, this is a spot nose, yellow belly. Inchy Fire, 100% Hat Clown from Canova. Uh, this guy is absolutely stunning. Love the head stamp, just overall the colors of him. And we, we were looking to make a very similar animals, uh, but it, just purchasing this guy, sometimes it's best just to purchase it because uh, you know we're pushing ourselves ahead at least a, a generation, maybe even two. Uh, to be honest with you, just with purchasing the animal. So possibly next year we could be creating visual clowns with the genetics we're looking for. Whereas before um, doing the pairings, we would be off at least two generations, I think. Absolutely stunning animal. Everything we wanted to look for. We have a few visual clowns we want to pair them to. And he's going to just push our clown projects a little bit further ahead than where it currently are. And we're really looking forward to it. Let me know what you think about the actual, about the purchase, guys. Just the colors on this guy is just everything we were looking for, and the genetics were what we were looking for as well. There we go. His, like I said, he did eat yesterday, so I'm gonna try not to bother him too much. Um, that's it for this week's videos. Do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave me a comment down below giving me suggestions on um, just just the, the expanding of the room or what uh, those of you have done it before. What suggestions do you have for me? I'm really looking forward to doing it and just expanding overall the collection and, and bringing in different animals and making newer animals and just everything with the hobby really enjoy it so it's exciting time for us over here true ball pythons thank you guys so much for watching the video and we will see you guys again next week